In this video, we'll discuss the nuclear lesions of the oculomotor nerve. I made a sketch for easy understanding of the nucleus of the oculomotor nerve. Two circles in the middle are the adinder westphal nucleus, the parasympathetic nucleus, which supplies the internal ocular muscles, the constrictor pupillae and the ciliary muscle. The green bigger circle is the nucleus that supplies the extraocular muscles of the eye except for superior oblique which is supplied by the trochlea and the lateral rectus which is supplied by the sixth cranial nerve. And below is a red color heart shape is the central cord subnucleus that supplies the levator palpebrae superior muscle. Second important point that each extraocular muscle that is supplied by the oculomotor nerve has a separate representation in the nucleus. Superior rectus fibers in the nucleus are interconnected with the superior rectus fibers of the opposite side. So a unilateral lesion of the oculomotor nucleus causes bilateral superior rectus palsy. And number three, medial rectus muscle fibers have three separate representations in the nucleus. So what are the causes of a lesion of a nucleus of the oculomotor nerve. It may be due to a brain stem damage from a stroke, infarction, hemorrhage, demyelination like multiple sclerosis, tumors or infection. So what are the effects of nuclear lesions? Number one, bilateral ptosis because the levator muscle is innervated by a single central subnucleus. Number two, bilateral midriasis. And number three, bilateral superior rectus palsy. Why? Because superior rectus subnucleus fibers are interconnected thus a lesion of one superior rectus subnucleus results in bilateral lateral superior rectus palsy. What are the features of superior rectus palsy? Inability to elevate the eyeball and number two, inability to adduct and intort the eyeball. A bilateral nuclear lesion may spare the levator palpebri superioris muscle because it originates from the central caudal subnucleus. Conversely, lesion that involves the levator palpebri muscle causes isolated bilateral ptosis and sparing of the extraocular muscles and pupils. Rarely a cranial or three nuclear lesion may be unilateral. Nuclear lesion may also cause isolated weakness of the muscles innervated by the oculomotor nerve because each muscle has its separate representation in the nucleus. What are the features of a unilateral oculomotor nucleus lesion? Superior rectus fibers in the nucleus are interconnected with the superior rectus fibers of the opposite side. So a unilateral lesion of the oculomotor nucleus causes bilateral superior rectus palsy. Number two, ipsilateral weakness of the medial rectus, inferior rectus and inferior oblique muscles. And number three, if caudal nucleus is also involved, then bilateral ptosis.